Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Say, can you say good morning? No. Say morning. Did you just say no? And good morning from this little boy in here as well. His big brother may be feeling a little antisocial <laughs> this morning, but today's a very exciting day, everybody. We are finally going baby shopping for little boy. So I am a few weeks away from giving birth. At this point with Sane, I was so organized. I feel like we literally had everything we could possibly need. His room was literally finished. Um, I was literally getting my hospital bag ready at this point. This time round, I just, we're just not even close, are we? It's the opposite, to be honest. We are not even close. I feel like that's a relatively normal thing for second pregnancy. I just think you've already got like the one to keep you so busy. Also, I feel like it's almost like less I guess in a way because you've been through it once before so you know how postpartum life is it's not your first rodeo bay a lot of the time I feel like mums and dads in their second pregnancy like obviously they've kept a lot from the first baby we did a big attic clear out mm. didn't we and how did it go <clears throat> not great not great went up in the attic to get everything that we saved from Saints newborn stage to bring it down and a lot of it is no longer in acceptable condition we need to do, i feel like it's a life hack con that we've not nailed what storage. like storage do you know what i mean yeah do you know what i mean like couldn't agree more well i tell you what getting those uh vacuum bags up yeah i feel like we've nailed clothes other stuff that doesn't go in a vacuum bag <laughs> We're just in trouble every time, aren't we? Yeah, they're just oh, in cardboard no. boxes stuffed up somewhere. Yeah. Aren't they? And we're hoarders. You are. Ellie. You are. We both are. I am not. Are. Yes, you are. Okay, we're hoarders in different senses, though. I am a hoarder for sentimental stuff. Anything that has a sentimental value. Yeah, like a hundred bucks. No, you did a good job actually clearing that. Thank you very much. My mug cupboard is very important to me, Connor. I have a lot of mugs with a lot of memories on, okay? You have a lot of mugs. So I think I actually did really well. Connor, on the other hand, is just a hoarder in general. Like, oh. what was it you said to me the other day? He was doing his wardrobe clear up because if you guys have been keeping up with the vlogs, you'll know the room that had all of Connor's wardrobe storage in is the new baby's nursery so connor had to do like a big declutter of his wardrobe and move basically all of his clothes we had to do like a little bit of a rejig with the wardrobe space basically in our house there was a pair of skinny jeans now yeah, this makes common sense eh? bright this blue makes absolutely perfect sense. they weren't even like a faded like cool jean color that you would wear nowadays connor was like now look I think I'm actually going to keep these just in case they ever come back in fashion. Well, it wasn't just those. It was about five pairs of skinny shoes, skinny jeans. Well, there you go. And listen, though, Eddie, it's a well-known fact that fashion always repeats itself. So I'm saving myself money in the long run. Yeah, but are you, though, Con? Because I know what you're like in, in the long run. And I'm talking... 10 years time babe in okay years time, don't see skinny jeans i'll be jeans nearly four back. years old and i'll be rocking those skinny jeans <laughs> or rips on and say will be like dad please can you not wear those when you drop me off at school please i don't want my friends and then when sane's 18 i'll be like look son I have some skinny jeans okay no, that's fine then don't worry, skinny jeans here you go baby he started to call Con Con recently as well, guys. Oh my he god. He follows from the top of the stairs. He stands at the top of the stairs when it's just me and Satan upstairs. And he goes, Con! Oh my god, it cracks me up. I'll try and film it soon. Why did we even get onto skinny jeans? Why did we even get onto wardrobe? Why did we get onto. Oh, because we were talking about stuff in the attic. Hey guys, we had this grand plan. Obviously, as I feel like every parent does, you know, when you know you want another baby one day, we kept all of the baby stuff. Some of it is still in good nick, absolutely, but definitely a few bits that I would just prefer to kind of freshen up for the new baby. So, we thought, what's a fun little family day out? Let's go baby shopping. Because I am telling you, I have nada for this baby. This baby hasn't even got a bodysuit, babe, okay? I'm actually not that stressed about it. Are you stressed about the fact that he hasn't got anything yet? Of course you aren't. Can't tell you, I don't know. 
course you are, because... I believe in divine timing, Ellie. Do you? Yes. And I know... In divine timing that your wife is going to get everything done, is that right? Exactly. Awful. 11, 11, we're going to be arriving! Wish. What's your wish? What's your wish? My wish is... So when you do the 11, 11 wishes, I always make them quite small. You know? Just Why so not? It'll... You should reach for the stars card. I know, but I feel like... More chance of it coming true. No, that was entirely the wrong way of thinking. Have I not taught you anything in the last nine years? Wheels on the bus go round and round. Sainty's a cappella group. Mum and Dad. Available at his beck and call whenever. We're lucky we're good singers, aren't we? He chooses to snap his fingers. We are lucky. Yeah. Okay, uh, from the start, uh, mamas and papas. We've made it. We've made it. Wowie, I do love next home, you know. Poppy, we came here for you. Oh, let's get him this, Mum. <gasps> oh, how did I know that you guys would see that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that cool? <laughs> That's your own bed. And Daddy could come and sleep with you. What do you think of He's being in a big boy bed? My little. Hey. He must go in this soon. Come up. Dada. Oh, Dad, you want Dad? Come on. Come on. Quick. Yeah. Oh my gosh, such cute what stuff. What is next bed then? Is it one of those? His toddler bed. His his cot turns into a toddler bed. Yeah, that's way cooler. Connor, I know it's way cooler, but it's literally Saint is like 19 months old. Yeah, so what I'm asking is when does he go into that bed? When he's no longer a toddler, my love. Why not? Are you fine in that? Connor, literally, the only reason you think that's cool is because it's got Avengers bedding on it, okay? Oh my god, look at this gorgeous boot clay bed though. What? That, sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm literally obsessed with that. Rainbow Kids bed frame. That is so beautiful. <gasps> what have you found? Dinosaurs! Uh, do you want to put your baby brother's presents in there? Are you going to buy them today? Are you going to save enough? That's nice. Well, your pocket money. This is also such a cute laundry basket for same. They also have this one over here, which is cute. It's like a little hippo. And I also love these bath mats. Like, little woodland spa vibes for kids bathrooms I just think they're adorable oh my god guys i literally cannot wait to put saint and the baby in like big brother little brother matching outfits oh and you had like a teddy bear oh i think you might have actually had these saint one thing that has been saved well is all of saint's clothes from when he was like a newborn so they're all fine i'm actually gonna really try hard not to go too wild with baby clothes but looking around i'm not sure how i'm gonna resist really oh my god we're officially gonna be part of double pram life yeah. so it's a little bit complicated, don't Yeah. Know. I remember when I was pregnant with Saint, prams and car seats to me felt like literally a total minefield. I feel like it's really hard to like know what you want in one of those because for brand new parents it's like, is a pram just not a pram? Do you know what I mean? And actually, I'm not going to lie, it, I feel like it's still a field I've not fully conquered and I'm a mum. Do you know what I mean? Like now I'm looking at double prams. Having to remind myself of like the baby car seat. Look, there's yours. So actually, by the way, guys, I wanted to say this pram that Saint is in today, it's not his usual pram. It was just quick and easy to in the car today, but it's the Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2. And we bought it when we went to New York. It was his first holiday when he was about four months old because you can take it on as hand luggage and it can like collapse into the uh, compartment that goes above for you when you sit on a plane rather than like having to take it off as being checked in and I'd literally highly recommend it so if anybody's looking for a good travel pram the Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2 is really good and that's about the only like pram stuff I know really I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not even gonna try and pretend look at all of this baby stuff look there's Saint's cot I love this furniture set here this is a really nice one. What's this one called? Atlas. 
This is a beautiful swing. This is called the Cassia swing. Oh, no, please. Swing. And the baby goes in there, doesn't it? Can you say baby? Baby. Does see. the baby go in the swing? Oh, you want to go night-night? No, 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 no. <laughs> I Get also love the rocking chairs in here. We never had a rocking chair for Saint. We just had like a little a little chair. I do think a rocking chair would be quite nice this time, don't you? Yeah, I just don't think we've got the room for it. I know. This one's nice. <laughs> this is the problem if I buy a rocking chair, it's just going to turn into a row, row, row your boat chair. Oh, I could just go to sleep. Just seen these that I think look really cool. We never had this for Saint, but it's a humidifier and actually I think it's something I might get for both of them. So they each have one in their room. It's by Maxi Cozy. Also, I've just seen this glow smell under crib light that looks like this. I thought that was like quite cool to be fair. But look, this is how it all sets up on the phone. Bay monitor, crib light, humidifier, and then also like a soothing light and sound thing. It's quite a good bit of kit to be fair and actually I think that would make a great gift, don't you? Mm. Like Yeah, so if there's any of Ellie's friends watching this. <laughs> no, I think it's one of those things that is like a luxury to have in a nursery. Maybe not something that you'd buy yourself, but it's a good gift idea. And a swaddle Saint, do you remember being in your swaddles, babe? Saint absolutely loved his swaddle and we ended up having to do the transition one and everything when he was a bit older. Oh, were you guys just having a meeting? Welcome to uh, Saint Michelle's rep. <laughs> this is his office. We should get the swaddle for your baby brother. Is that the same one? Oh, it is, Bobby. You used to go in that Saint. Quick pit stop at TGI's, our favourite restaurant in the whole entire world, everybody. Right? There we are. Fan favourite swaddle. Right? Obviously, I always go for the Jack Daniel's sesame chicken strips. These potato skins are the best potato skins you are literally ever going to have in your whole life. Saint's got his little kid's meal with his Capri Sun. Yum. Yummy. Yeah. And Dad's got Cajun chicken pasta. Good boy. Here you go. Night night. Good night. <laughs> oh, you're tired, babe. It feels so weird seeing him in a toddler bed. Yeah. What? This is the next stage oh, of him, guys. From this 18 is what, months. Yeah, this is what I'm procrastinating on because look, he is the there. age. Look at how tall he looks in there, Con. That's that is great. literally a saint size bed. What? You like that? I just feel like he, he'd roll out of it, though. Do you know what I mean? I feel like he'd end up over here. And then roll. And then fall off the bed. Oh, back in the pants. <laughs> Where is it? Whoa! <laughs> chilling out. You chilling out, darling. Night, night. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, cameraman. Thank you, sweetie. Baba, baba. Do you know what we do with this? Yeah, baby. Yeah, on the baby. Hi, baby. You want to put it on the baby? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. You think I need even more? Mama. Mama. Oh! It goes on Lonnie's eye, doesn't it? What do you think about that? Wow. What do you think? Do you want time to put this one on? Yeah. Come on then. It's a good papa. It's a... Oh, thank you. Come on, we have a kiss. And another one. Uh oh. What? It didn't touch your head. Yeah, everyone, are we going to tell everybody what we're doing today? Say, can you say baby shower? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, that's brilliant. Saint, where's the baby? baby? Where's the baby? Yes, in there, isn't it? Is that yeah. your baby in there? No, baby. <gasps> where's mummy's baby? Yeah. Where is the baby? A baby. Ah, oh, thank you. Listen at mummy's top. It's the baby in there, isn't it? Yeah, guys, I am getting ready for baby shower. Number two. Who knows how many we're going to have in this life? We're halfway, I reckon. 
I have five for a match yeah. today. Yeah. Get that, we didn't get to moisturise. Yeah, I'll get my legs out today, aren't I? It's such a gorgeous day. I literally feel so blessed with the weather. You're always lucky though, aren't I you? Know, I am. Do you know what that is, Con? Birthday showers. Like and girl syndrome. <laughs> I can't believe it. I literally can't believe the time is already here. I know I literally say it in what feels like every single video, but this pregnancy is just absolutely flying by. When it was our baby shower for Saint, it literally felt like it was right at the end of the pregnancy. I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, we're not quite there yet, but I just can't believe it's baby shower, to be honest. I've been umming and ahhing about doing a baby shower this time around i can't lie recently i've just i've just not really been in like party mindset right saint and connor are finally downstairs saint is dressed i can actually focus on getting ready I've just done all of my skincare and i have used a little bit of this kevin oswan i i'm pretty sure it's how you pronounce it glass glow face in cosmic flame i literally love how glowy that makes your skin before makeup it's one of my favorite products ever i think i'm gonna mix a little bit of these two together today the flawless filter and the beautiful skin foundation from charlotte tilbury i'll link all of this below but yeah like as much as i'm looking forward to today and i'm definitely really happy that i decided to actually end up going ahead with a little bit of a celebration it's been like just a bit of a strange time for me recently i've mentioned here and there that in this pregnancy i seem to be honestly 10 million times more emotional um than i was in my pregnancy with saint and i don't know if it's because obviously i already have a child now and for me personally motherhood if i thought i was an emotional person before i had saying motherhood has made me like so much even more emotional or if it's the fact that as i come to the end of this pregnancy my mum's anniversary approaches which um three year anniversary which i can't quite believe to be honest and i just seem to be missing her honestly like more than ever at the moment i just seem to be really quite deep into my grief but the funny thing is is that i haven't had any like huge griefy moments it's almost just like i can feel it there bubbling just underneath the surface and it's a little bit like knowing that it's pandora's box right there and if i choose to open it it'll all come flooding out i am still three years nearly three years on in quite an avoidant state with my grief like grief is really such a different personal journey for everybody and i'm grieving much more differently to how i would have matched my personality to grieve and there's no right or wrong way to grieve i really want to reiterate that like how you grieve if it's very different to how someone else grieves i think it's okay to acknowledge that and to allow yourself to go through the motions that you need to go through with your grief instead of comparing it to everybody else or like trying to force it to happen when i know personally for me my grief if i choose to kind of like go there in my own mind it can still feel three years on really big and really overwhelming so i guess at the moment i'm still kind of just choosing to i guess go there in more of a controlled manner like choose to go there in my therapy sessions for example rather than today the morning of my baby shower going into my mum's memory box because i miss her and i just know that that would be something that really would overwhelm me a lot and like set me in a bad place for probably a week or so. So my point is everybody grieves differently and however you grieve, it's a very personal journey and it's important that you're soft with yourself. Having said that, I fully acknowledge I'm definitely still in a pretty avoidant state with mine and it just means that days like today, which weirdly I didn't really have so much on my baby shower with Saint. I don't know if it was just because yeah, I was feeling maybe less emotional. It wasn't near the time of um, her anniversary at all. But the lead up to today and the decision to do something like this has been hard, which might sound strange if you haven't lost someone really close to you that would usually be at these kind of events like your mum. As exciting and happy I know today will be, for me, there will always be just a space where she should be, you know? and yeah i'm just finding it really hard at the moment so i didn't really want to do a big deal like i did with the saints baby shower i didn't want loads of people like i said for a while i didn't even want one but there is of course still a huge part to me that wants to and is choosing to celebrate life celebrate the fact that i am alive 
my baby is alive, life is to be lived, she would want me to carry on, she would never want me to not have a baby shower because she's not here. I think that would literally break her heart. Like if I think about saying in my situation I was to die when he was only 24 and chose to like not carry on his life and put things on hold just because of his grief for me and he missed me, that would break my heart as a mother. So it's just kind of doing these things, continuing on and choosing to celebrate life and not feeling guilty about celebrating life even though it contradicts with my feelings of you know this is gonna sound desperately sad but like <laughs> sneak peek into my therapy sessions guys letting my mum down almost by being here and having a nice time and I don't know I know that probably all sounds very sad and very deep, but it's just my mental process with throwing this baby shower. It's very, like I said, very, very different experience to when I had my baby shower with Saint. So rather than making it like a huge big thing this time, I don't know if you guys remember, but with my baby shower with Saint, we literally had loads of people. We had like every family member going, loads of friends. It was in our back garden. It was a gorgeous day. We did loads of like fun games and it was such a stunning baby shower. It was truly one of the happiest days of my life. But this time I wanted to celebrate bringing a baby into the world in a slightly different way. I didn't want any of that kind of big deal. And I thought, what's something that actually I'm probably gonna really miss for a little bit when I have another newborn and a toddler this time. The first thing that came to my mind was quality time with my friends. Like I mentioned in my last video, I'm like fully prepared this summer to just be on strict mum mode, really settle into the flow of having two under two <laughs> and exploring a new avenue of motherhood that is gonna be so beautiful and I'm so ready and excited for but I'm just probably aware that my social life is probably gonna suffer a little bit and I'll probably miss my friends not miss my friends that sounds like I'm never gonna see them again when <laughs> that's not the reality I don't know just like have a fun afternoon connecting with Ellie that isn't a mum lots of my friends now have babies as well so just a bit of mums on the loose time to be honest with you and also I know what I'm like when I have a newborn. Like I found it quite hard to leave Saint for a while when he was born, which I think is an incredibly natural thing, by the way, if you are currently in that phase of newbornhood and you're like, oh, like, I don't really, I don't, when am I gonna feel comfortable leaving my baby? Like, I just feel like I'm not there. It's fine. Some people feel comfortable getting back into a little bit of me time much sooner than other people. Nothing is wrong or right. But me personally, I just know that it, I, I had a long time before I like felt like I could go out and have fun and not be thinking constantly about my baby at home. So I've literally just made it more like a girlfriend afternoon. I almost felt a little bit like the bigger of a thing it felt, the more people I had there was just going to be much more of a, a reminder of the one person that I'm really missing at the moment is not there. So... I thought that would probably be like the nicest way for me at the moment to bring baby Swift number two into the world and still celebrate and still have fun, still honouring how I'm feeling right now, still choosing to see the wonderful miracle that has happened to me of having a beautiful child. Oh my gosh, I, this is why I can't vlog and get ready guys, this is why there's a lack of get ready with me videos on my channel because when i start talking everything else goes out the window and i can't focus on anything else so i've now got literally 15 minutes to finish the look so wish me luck hi oh, there she is baby mama yeah. Bobby looking gorgeous. Can I get a kiss? <laughs> Bobby says he would give you a kiss, but he's pretty busy. He's a bit busy. You're in the garage at the moment, aren't you, babe? Just fix that car, just test drive and it probably sends it back. <laughs>
Doing some inspecting of the gifts for newest edition. Hey, everything looking okay? How anything that needs to go through security check, Hecky? What do you think, Hab? Hi guys, it's a few days after my baby shower now, and do you know what's literally hilarious? I was actually just watching back. I don't ever really do this, but I was just watching back my baby shower video from my pregnancy with Saint. And when I like filmed the equivalent of this clip in my baby shower vlog last time, I don't know if any of you guys remember, I was like stood in Saint's room. The room was fully finished, babe. My hospital bags were ready to go. Look at the stark contrast. This is what I mean when I'm feeling slightly underprepared about baby boy but you know what we trust divine timing herbie don't we Herb? hello hello now what do you do think about bringing another baby into the world herbie don't shake your head no because he's on his way you two are the best big brothers in the world aren't you heck your baby brothers both of you mm, herbie's sometimes not sure but heck he's always on board for it should we do a bit of a bump update? Should we do a bump update? Thank you. <laughs> so here he is, everybody. I literally can't believe I've got another child in there. I just seriously can't believe it. My tummy's really getting to that point where it looks as though my belly button is gonna pop, but it did this with my first pregnancy and it didn't pop. It just looked like it was going to. And yeah, we're back at that same stage, but I haven't really got any new stretch marks. Mind you, all of the ones with Saint literally popped up at the very, very end of my pregnancy. So who knows, but my, my older stretch marks from my first pregnancy are just kind of there, looking like they've got bigger or redder or anything. They're just kind of how they are. Thought I could share with you all some of the gorgeous things that my beautiful woman in my life brought me for the baby. I did this for my first baby shower as well, but I said to everybody that instead of like a card or even a gift, um, because I said to everybody, please, this baby, even though I haven't got him anything, like, this baby doesn't need anything, like, I can just get it all. I really, really don't want anybody to spend their money or do anything like that. So I just said it would just be lovely if you could just get the baby a book because we did that for same. And there was a part of me that was like, is it pointless doing that for pregnancy number two? Because we literally have almost every like baby book under the sun from Sane and he loves his reading. So we have a lot of books, but if you're a fellow mother or a toddler, you will know, babe, pages get ripped out, flaps from the lift of flap books just get torn off there's chocolate or porridge or something all splattered across the pages so i thought this is not where we're gonna start baby number two constantly having saints hand-me-downs for the rest of his life he, he deserves his nice little clean books for his arrival okay rather than his big brother's fingerprints all over it and oh my gosh they really really treated me guys i feel truly so lucky and actually there wasn't that much of an overlap at all um with the books because excuse me herbie you're about to knock a pregnant woman over get you down a bit lower so you can see the boys but yeah honestly i could not believe how thoughtful everybody was and look at these ones that lucy baby i'll have to ask them where they got them from because they're personalised and they're really lovely. So Lucy and Jordan and the baby's cousins bought this one and it's all personalised throughout the entire book. Like, for example, Ellie and Connor's Guide to the World and yeah, just stuff like that through the book, which I think is just adorable. And then a couple of my friends bought this one for Saint, which is from the same place. And again, it's all personalised. Kit Kat got this one. Like we don't have any of these books on the bookshelf. So I just think honestly, it's really, really such a special thing to do because I absolutely love the books that Saint got for his baby shower. I'm going to keep them forever. So it's nice to have that for the second baby as well. This is the one that Katie got. My bed is an air balloon. And her message inside that she wrote was to Baby Swift, I can't wait to welcome you into the world as soon as you pop out. <laughs> 
Auntie Katie, exclamation mark, loves you already. Bless her. Also, Connor and Saint literally made a highly emotional pregnant woman 20 times more emotional by surprising me at the baby shower. I had no idea they were gonna be there. And I will tell you what, actually, when I was pulling away, when I was like driving, get, got in my car and like went to drive to the venue, it made me really sad because Saint and Connor were waving me off. And I was like, oh, now I am kind of almost like regretting my decision to like not have loads of people there and like not have Connor and Saint. And I was really like quite emotional about the fact that Saint specifically wasn't going to be there. And then they turned up at like the perfect time and just as so I was cutting the cake. And Connor had taken Saint into the white company and they'd chosen loads of little bits for baby brother. And it's just so, so cute. It's like little toys that are just gorgeous. So Connor told me that Saint picked it all, so very special, sentimental stuff. Another one of my friends also bought me this to put in Baby Boy's Nursery because she knows the theme I'm doing, which is obviously, if you guys have watched, I don't know if it was my last video, but maybe the video before, all about like his nursery mood board and stuff like that. I'm going for like a dreamland theme, clouds. I've had, actually had a couple of wallpaper samples come through so i'd love your guys opinion on it which one you think we should go for but yeah that was just that's just so something to put on a little bookshelf but i've got these two they're exactly the same they're just slightly different shades of colors and i did get another sample of like a big wall mural but i don't like it the samples are out it's just actually not the vibe i want to go for these are the two samples i've got this one is like a much bluer like you can really see the blue it's like a bright blue but then this one is a really toned down version and it's almost, it's like a bluey grey. I don't know how it's picking up on camera. It's not grey, but it's a much lighter, almost like duck egg kind of blue compared to the lower one. But I'd love to know what you guys think. I'm really torn. But it's going to go above the panelling. So we're having the panelling. I don't... Can you get... I'm actually just trying to figure out what you guys can see in the thing. Having the panelling all white below as it currently is. And also having that wall panel too because that's where the wardrobes were. And then we're going to put the wallpaper on top. Anyway, that's going to go ahead and finish off today's vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I just also wanted to say this is the first time I'm sitting down in front of the camera since my first ever episode of my brand new podcast, Growing and Glowing, has gone live. And we are can't believe it in number five on the apple podcast charts guys what you have no idea how much that means to me that you guys are loving it so much when it was such a step for me to do that like i've been wanting to do growing and glowing for a really long time and i have really let a lot of fear build up me about it and hold me back and I'm so eternally grateful for your love and friendship and oh I just really can't explain to you how cool it is that um yeah growing and glowing is finally out there and the fact that you're all loving it just means so much to me so thank you so much and if you haven't already checked it out I'll leave a link below but we are on Apple, Spotify and also of course on YouTube because as I say, as I say in my first episode you know the girl out of YouTube you can't take the YouTube out of the gal, babe. So even though podcast is obviously predominantly audio, I'm obviously going to upload it on YouTube too for my YouTube girlies. Anyway, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You're in the bottom of my heart. Thank you just for everything. I really am feeling so grateful for life right now. And I'm very excited to bring another little beautiful baby into the world. And I can't believe he's nearly here. Love you all so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>